Okay, welcome back. This is uh, yet another production line video where I think I've, I've sorted something to do with um, the way I record stuff. So uh, that will make life easier for me. Um, I've got no idea what, uh, what number this is. Actually, quite a lot of stuff has happened. Let me load... Um, yeah, let me... Oh, actually, let me talk about scenario stuff. If you go here, this is all different now. So previously, it would just be like play mission or edit. And now... You can still do that, which is considered sandbox. Um, and then you've got free play where there's no competition, uh, but you don't get achievements. Um, and then you've got scenarios. You have like fixed scenarios. At the moment, there's 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 only two. Um, the current build only has one in, um, but this one will be coming soon. So let me load in um, this, and um, we'll talk about this. A surprising amount of stuff has happened and uh, is coming up, actually. So let me show you this. This is not finished. Um, this here is the airbag manufacturing thing, right? Um, this big empty space here is because I've got a problem with the animation for a new machine that, I, that will go here, but it's not there yet. So there's new graphical stuff. Ignore this Z bias problem, which I will fix after I've had some coffee, I think. Um, but look. Doo -doo! How exciting is this new machine that does like little stitching of um, airbag stuff? It is actually based on a picture of a proper machine that does actually stitch the, um, the the fabric around airbags. You know, you can look this sort of stuff up. And this stuff here is sodium azide. Um, I think that's how you say it. Which is stuff that they actually do put in airbags to trigger the explosion that sets them off. Um, and I'm presuming there's some sort of gas in it or something. We so we hear some cylinders with gas in. I don't know. This is not an accurate representation of how, how cars are made, but it's it's not bad. So um, basically, you need sensors, obviously, which we already have in the game, and you need some sodium azide, which is a new thing. Um, and you, you oh, um, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, we're not going to apply that yet. Um, and then you can make your own airbags. How exciting! Now, um, oh, see, look that. Oh, right, I need to fix that. See, that's been caused by the way I fixed that. That's just typical, isn't it? The minute I, I press record, you get things, you know. Um, but I know what that is now. This is all I've got on my list to do today: is to fix this thing where you rotate stuff, and and then stuff ends up in the wrong place. Um, is it only that one? No, everything else looks okay, doesn't it? It's quite a big, uh, quite a big map here, actually. I'm just going to pick some research so it stops whining. Stop whining. Um, anyway, so uh, so this is a new thing, like airbag stitching, right? Um, and we have more animation coming as well. The animation is a little bit tricky to do because um, there's no like sort of uh, tool for it or API for it. Um, so I have to kind of look at what the um, the artist has has done and then sort of kind of code it. Um, these things here, where, where the robots do their welding, um, that is like a proper animation with hundreds of frames, but that takes up a lot of video memory, so I can't do too much of that. Um, it's just the same with the people when they like scratch their heads and stuff. But stuff like this. Um, that's not an animation with any frames in it. I am manually moving that sprite up and down and then drawing other sprite layers on top of it, um, which involves a little bit of faff. But it means I don't use up that much uh, video memory, so I can get lots of different things on the screen um, and a lot of variety. Um, I changed some of these, actually, some of these colors when you zoom out, uh, because some people were saying they couldn't tell the difference between some of them um, if, if, uh, if they were colorblind. So some of those have changed. And I think I told you before that they, they match up with, with this stuff here. Um, so I've now got those to do. Yeah. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. More animation is coming and we have airbag stitching. And we will have airbag assembly as well. Um, and we have scenarios. Something that's, that has changed. There used to be a bug that nobody noticed. And, ah, oh, it, it just happened then. Da! da! Come on, come on, you can do it. There are, look, look at this, look at this. There are seven items queued up to come in from this um, importer. And this never used to have two columns. It would never 
stretched like that and it was capped at six um rather stupidly so if you were thinking well i've ordered some sensors and none of the um the importers seem to have them it's because it was more than the six one so now there is no limit and it will show you all of them um and this is helpful for debugging as well as pointing out where you have a kind of bottleneck um by the way one of the things that i'm trying to do with stuff like this is have stuff where when resources come in more than one item will be produced so the amount of sodium azide and sensors that come in is less than the amount of airbags that are produced so what i'm hoping is that when you get sort of like late into the game you realize that you're overstressing the importers you can't get everything into the factory fast enough and the like gameplay solution to that is just bring in the raw resources and make stuff locally at the moment it's not that sensible a strategy um but it will be because of stuff like this where we're going to make multiple airbags at a time okay so the importer gui has changed you may have noticed if you were eagle-eyed um that look not sure if you saw that but that was colored paint oh yes um which i well, maybe i should make a bit more expensive than um um colors paint oh this is paint isn't it yeah so um the final coat of paint which is here uses colored paint and um undercoat just uses the normal like white stuff that's in fact gray maybe we should change that <laughs> no. um anyway i thought why not it kind of makes sense for them to be different things and also that means when you've got a um a single uh paint thing that does both it's gonna uh, have more trouble sort of juggling its Oh, excellent juggling the um, resources it needs I have completed the objectives here check it out 3,000 budget cars done um, but I'm gonna continue playing just for laughs anyway um, so that here we've got colored paint coming in um, that if you don't play in English you might notice in the next patch that um, a lot of newer text that was still in English has now been translated um every now and then we, we have like a professional translation company and every now and then um we send them the, the latest text and they go through and um and change a lot of the t and, and update the text we also have two new languages coming so we're going to translate the game into portuguese and italian i think we might do some more after that depending how well the game sells uh it's very expensive to get that done and you, you need to sell a load of copies and you know anyway so um we're getting that done translation color paint in portuguese no, yeah. yeah so i'm doing things wow um i'm gonna be at some stuff i'm gonna be at um this uh show thing the pc gamer connects something or other um in london um giving a talk about this game which i've never given a talk on before i um, talking about how the game was made and designed um basically uh look i made a game and this is it and this is what it's like talk in london um i'll put up a link to it uh, it's just rubbish with details i need to write my talk i'm gonna do that tomorrow um also we're gonna be at the pc gamer weekender which is also in london olympia this time uh and that is i don't know when that is is it the end of january start of february it's at some point i'll put up a link anyway so we're going to be there we're going to have a little booth um with um with two pcs and i'll be there um and come and say hello on the first day and i'll be really optimistic in the morning and say hey you know thanks for supporting the game i'm cliffsky yeah what do you think um and then at the end of the second day i'll just want to jump under a bus and i'll be sat in the corner sobbing um because i don't enjoy shows uh but i will be uh, but i will be there um and uh yeah you know come along and try the game if you haven't already tried the game um or better still just buy it i mean come on come on buy it um someone was telling me they think it should cost more i don't know um i think it should cost more too it's it's currently 17 dollars 99 um but there's enormous price pressure i um, who knows it's a really complicated thing to work out whether or not um a game should should be charging more anyway if you just come across this video randomly and thinking what is all this about um this is production line it's a factory car factory simulation game 
for uh, the PC and it's on Steam Early Access and you can get it from GOG and Humble and well like direct from us through the Humble widget it'll end up in the Humble store um, I don't think Humble actually do like an Early Accessy thing yet um, and it's great fun and it can run a lot quicker than this like so and I think the frame rate has proven to be pretty good uh, and it can get quite big and, and, and complicated and we're going to make it much bigger and much more complicated um, and look, fun with welding. Oh, yes. Anyway, I hope this works because now I've got to mix it and upload it and everything. Thank you for watching. Um, and I always read the comments. So if you've got any thoughts on anything that we're doing, um, leave a comment here. Um, please leave good Steam reviews. It's so important. I know it's really boring hearing it. But um, if you like the game, please leave a Steam review. It's, 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 it's really helpful. Please, please. Look, I'm begging. Thanks for watching. Where's the stop button?